All right, everyone, welcome to the Chauffeur Factory. I'm Rabbi Freed. What we want to do is we're going to try and make our own chauffeur. To start with, does anyone know what kind of animal grows a chauffeur? Ram, right. But that is the normal type of animal we're used to seeing that has chauffeurs. What animal is this? Does anybody know? Goat. That's a goat. And is a goat kosher? Goats are kosher. And you can use a horn of a goat to make a chauffeur. But not every animal that's kosher makes horns that are good for a chauffeur. For example, Deer, do you know what deer horns are called? Antlers, they're actually called antlers. I'll show you some soon. But antlers are not good for a chauffeur. Let me show everyone a couple of animals that are very unusual. But remember, they're kosher and therefore we can use their horns for a chauffeur. For example, look at this funny animal. It's called an elon. Very unusual animal. But it's kosher, and look how the horns look. They kind of go straight, and they're twisted. You could use horns like this for your chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah. Here is a kudu. Beautiful horn, and people always make chauffeurs out of these horns. They sometimes call it a Yemenite chauffeur. Here's an interesting animal. It's called a gemsbach. What's unique about these horns Totally straight, vroom, see that? Absolutely straight horn, but it's a kosher animal, and therefore you could use these horns on Rosh Hashanah. Let me show you a certain type of animal. It's kosher, but we don't use its horns. By the way, one more of these animals, this is called the blessed buck. I have some of these horns, I'll show them to you in a minute. We could use chauffeur from a blessed buck as well. What is this animal right here? Basically a cow, a bull. Now is a cow kosher? Yes. A cow is kosher, but we don't use anything in the cow family for a chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah. That is a pink water buffalo. Kosher. And here is a bison or a buffalo, I'm not even sure. Again, kosher animals, we don't use their horns on Rosh Hashanah. When an animal grows a horn, there's no hole. In the horns we have, it's going to be our job to cut a mouthpiece. Because when it grows from the animal, there's no, um, there's no hole. Who sees this over here? This is, you don't usually see this, stuff that grows inside of the chauffeur. I shall show it to you. Gotta pull it out and it looks like this. You ready? Here we go. Boom. This is the marrow, stuff that grows inside of a chauffeur. Now when we get a chauffeur, even the chauffeur's here, it's already been taken out. But when it grows, it's in there. In fact, the word chauffeur, you know what it really means? It comes from the word Schweiferes, which means tube. A chauffeur has to have an inside and an outside. The inside stuff comes out, then you have the nice outside, that's where the sound comes out of. When we have our antler from our deer, remember is deer kosher? It is. But there's no inside here. It's one solid thing. That's why we don't use deer horn on Rosh Hashanah. Here is our kudu horn. Remember we talked about that? Now it's not as shiny as chauffeurs we're used to seeing because it's not polished. With sandpaper, if you sit and rub this a lot, it'll get shiny. Here is our gems bak, a blessed bak I mean. Very funny shape. Does this look like a chauffeur? Not really. But it actually is kosher. You could use this as a chauffeur on Rosh Hashanah. Here we have a cow horn. Now again, is a cow a kosher animal? No. Yes, cow is kosher. We don't use show, uh, cow horns. Anything in the cow family we don't use on Rosh Hashanah. Not a cow, not a bull, not a bison, not a water buffalo. We don't use anything in the cow family because if you remember the story, 
When the Jews came out of Egypt, what was a very bad mistake they made with a cow? Yeah. Cheta Egel, the Egel Hazav, the golden calf, they bowed down to it. So therefore, anything connected with cows, we don't do, use on Rosh Hashanah because it reminds us and Hashem of that problem. Here's our biggest horn. What? From, from the water buffalo. And again, kosher animal. Inside that was taken out, I can even stick my hand in there. My arm, you could probably jump in there if you want. But, not kosher for Rosh Hashanah because it's in the cow family. Here's another hot horn, maybe there's a bison horn from the cow family. And, here is our, our gems back horn. Remember we said it's the one that grows totally straight? And this is it. The only reason this person might not want to use this on Rosh Hashanah is because there is an idea of a shofar having a curve in it to be bent, which shows that we're bent and more humble in front of Hashem. But officially, this is totally kosher. And for some reason, no one ever makes shofars out of these. Maybe the animals are too rare. I don't know. Watch out. Excellent. Okay, there you go. 